Hey guys, it's day, I don't, I don't even know what day of the furlough it is at this point. Um, I know that I'm at the point where I'm making a video about bugs. Anyway, Cole and I covered bugs the other day on, um, when I interviewed him. And I just felt like for new gardeners it might have been a little vague. So just wanted to give you a few details on what you can expect to see. And the main thing is being able to identify good bugs from bad bugs. So here are some pictures and names of beneficial insects that you might see or you hope to see um, in your garden. So the best way to get them is to plant flowers that will attract these bugs. You can also order them online. I haven't done that in the past, but I did this year. I have a friend who's done it and said that she felt like it was really effective. So um, below I'll have the link to that website in case you want to try it. Um, I ordered nematodes and here's base here's how it comes packaged to you and how you put it out. The nematodes come in these little boxes. Um, it's actually like kind of looks like feta cheese to me. The nematodes dissolve in the water and you want the ground to be moist for them to get established. They actually move through water channels in the ground. So I'm going to put it out with the hose end sprayer that'll give it the moisture and an even distribution. Really the best way to get beneficial bugs into your garden is planting the things that attract them. So here are a few of the different flowers you can plant. Um, this is by no means inclusive. It's just a few common ones that um, you might want to have around to help attract some of those beneficials. The last picture here is herbs and that's just generally speaking most herbs are really good to have around garden plants um, and then you can also use them when you cook. So I'm going to do one more quick video on the bad bugs and what to do if you do find them in your garden if you weren't able to prevent them um, being able to control them kind of what you can use and keep things organic or without using pesticides if at all possible.